Well, Congressman Ricotter talked about flinching last night. I wonder if this is what he had in mind. Check out Tim Pawlenty last night, the day after he mentioned Obamacare. Using the term Obamacare was a reflection of the president's comments that he designed Obamacare on the Massachusetts health care plan. Well, a little yeah, bit of distance there. A little there. bit, a little bit there. Well, joining that. us now to, to really dig into this is a guy who, well, he was right there last night and sitting up on it looks like the roof of <laughs> WMUR's Manchester yeah. headquarters, James Pindell, who is the political director there. And James, what, what happened last night and what was the explanation from the Palenti camp afterwards about why he pulled his punches? You know, what's so interesting about that is they seem to preview this attack on Sunday. John King even just called out his manhood by saying, well, why don't you just step up and and criticize the guy you just did yesterday, but you, and then he didn't, of course, as we know, is with the key moment of the debate. And then afterwards in the spin room, all the Plenty advisors were back on the attack. So it wasn't like they shifted strategy. It seemed that Plenty just really did have cold feet or didn't really want to go there. But it obviously set the tone for the rest of the debate. One of the key questions is whether or not uh, Mitt Romney would be attacked or these folks would spend more time trying to introduce themselves. This is sort of opening day of the New Hampshire primary. Uh, but man, after, after Palenti didn't go after yeah. him, if it, it kind of almost felt like no one else could. Well, let's lay out. And obviously, you know these issues like no one else covering it in New Hampshire. What, did you hear anything in, in any of the candidates' appeals that was particularly geared to the Granite State that you, as a New Hampshire primary voter, you're watching this and saying, wow, this guy is, is saying something, one of the code words or dog whistles that you hear in this? Uh, uh, well, obviously at the end when they ke you know, kept pandering to us saying this is why New Hampshire should have the first primary. <laughs> very nice. uh, uh, look, look, I mean, the, the main issue in New Hampshire, uh, unlike maybe South Carolina or in Iowa, this is a very fiscally conservative state. While we talk about its libertarian bent, live for your die being the state motto, the reality is, is that stop the spending is a mantra that it not only just works through every single state government in terms of every, every single legislative session, but also... It was actually the main theme of last year's U.S. Senate primary that Kelly Ayotte ended up winning. It was cut the spending. So that sort of theme was consistent with what they're hearing where New Hampshire Republicans are. What that means going forward, actually where you're going to cut, what that means to the national debt is a whole other question. All right, let's talk about the person who... I guess I one thing I... Yeah. Go ahead, James. Go ahead. But one of the things I'd say, I think what was more fascinating to me, is we have you know, basically four people on that stage really going at the Tea Party base. You know, a Ron Paul, uh, you know, a Michelle Bachman, a Rick Santorum, and Herman Cain. And while they scrap for that hardcore group of folks, as you guys know, New Hampshire's registered voters, or independents, they can vote in this primary, and there seemed to be really no one really geared to that audience, except for one person, John Huntsman, who was not on that stage last night. All right, well, let's look at Michelle Bachman for one second here, the last 30 seconds we have. She was considered a success, at least by the Inside the Beltway pundits. Does she sell in New Hampshire? Uh, you know, she probably doesn't sell the way she could in Iowa, but there is a pocket of Tea Party folks and she did a really good job last night. You know, for the most part, she was always seen as Sarah Palin Light. Folks weren't sure they're were going to make of her. She introduced herself in a very strong way. There is a lot of buzz this morning about Michelle Bachman in New Hampshire. Uh, there we go. And there's going to be more buzz for John Huntsman. We learned that he is going to be announcing his candidacy next week in New Jersey, though. Yeah. Liberty, liber by the Statue of Liberty, not New Hampshire. How about that, James? Well, you know, as you know, I am on the roof. I'm waiting for that window to be opened or shut for Thad <laughs> McCotter. But uh, 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 the reality is, is, you know, this is where John Huntsman really has been putting a, a stake right. uh, in terms of his campaign. Of course, it'll be headquartered in Orlando. It is an interesting move, That's but right. uh, maybe this is all part of the, the, the Sarah Palin bus tour. The, the grand plan. <laughs> James Pendle, WMUR moments. in Manchester. Thanks so much. Twitter.com slash Rick Klein. Twitter.com slash Amy E. Walter. New Jersey. Put it in play? I don't know. Yeah, see.